Good afternoon, my name is Lance Best. I'm with Lincoln Electric Weld School. This is another ARC Magazine presentation of uh, Master Class. Today we'll be discussing oxyacetylene welding using hard facing cobalt based alloy. And this is a pretty popular process, uh, really when you're looking for minimal amount of dilution, uh, especially on uh, sensitive items such as stainless steels. Uh, any more lately, a lot of people cover uh, plasma arc welding and gas metal arc welding, but uh, once again, once engineers specify like a minimal amount of dilution or they want uh, uh, maximum effect of the overlay, uh, we typically go with like oxyacetylene welding. And it's a, it's a proven process. We've been doing it for over 100 years now, uh, anywhere from welding joints to uh, brazing. Um, so I would say oxyacetylene was pretty, uh, pretty versatile. So to do this, uh, we're actually going to typically start off with your torch setup. Uh, we have our oxyacetylene torch here. Got my fuel gases, uh, my fuel gas and my oxygen set up here. Also, uh, I'll be running a number seven torch for this material thickness that we're running here. I have my pressure set to about not eight psi simply because I have to deal with or to uh, compensate for draw from the line, so right when I start the, uh, the acetylene fire, it actually drops it down to about seven PSI, right exactly where this torch uh, runs optimally. Also, when I uh, start the flame and, adju and uh, adjust the flame, I'm gonna go for a 3X carburizing flame, also known as a, a 3X reducing flame for, uh, oxy for this welding process. So for stainless steel, uh, you would think uh, it's a sensitive metal, it's, uh, a metal that you typically don't oxyfuel weld, but for when it comes to overlay, uh, it, uh, oxyfuel is actually an excellent uh, uh, use for this. It doesn't actually affect any of the characteristics or the, the corrosion resistance characteristics of stainless steel. It actually just anneals it, so it basically stays the same state that it was prior to welding. It just it's just overlaid now. Uh, it also welds excellent when you do put a, a cobalt-based overlay on it. It's uh, very fluid and uh, it adheres very well to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this oxyfuel uh, flame started and we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of welding here. Of course, observe all uh, safety requirements. Uh, make sure you have your flashback arresters, your torch is in good operating condition. Inspect your cables, inspect your hoses. Uh, and then uh, from there, we're just gonna start, uh, start the flame. So we're gonna start with uh, fire first. So we're gonna turn my acetylene on. Okay, we're gonna adjust our flame till the black soot or smoke just disappears. Now I'm gonna drop my goggles because now I wanna adjust my flame to a 3X carburizing flame. Right about here, right where I wanna be for the flame. Um, now that I have my acetylene and the reason I dropped my goggles is so I could actually see the flame clearly because right now it's very bright if I look at it this way. I'm going to be very careful and observant of my environment around me while I grab my fume hood to weld with this. Now I have proper fume extraction. Now I'm ready to weld. Drop my goggles, double check my flame size. Now I'm going to hold the torch right, I'm going to heat the piece up. Get a little heat into it before I actually start welding because it needs to be warm. It needs to be glowing red while you're welding it, at least especially the area where you're going to weld. So I'm just going to heat it up a little bit. And then once, it's, once I get ready to weld, I'm going to bring my flame a little bit closer. I'm going to heat up my uh, filler. And right now, now we're welding. Okay. But there's an art to this, and there's a good reasoning to actually do oxyacetylene overlay. Now, you notice, I mean, my piece is glowing. The weld metal is getting on there, just dobbing it on there, good and easy. Okay. So if you look at this, I'm going to finish it off real quick, wrap this down that heat in and put that second layer on the way down. Wrapping it up, just getting this done. Run it all the way to the end. All right. If you look at 
that weld as it cools down you notice the coloration of it that's a uh, desirable coloration there's also no porosity on the surface of that uh, weld so that means that I had the correct gas mixture to weld with this and uh, the proper heat proper travel speed and um, excuse me so that's it this is cobalt hard facing of stainless steel I'm Lance Best with Lincoln Electric Weld School thanks for uh, joining us in another master class.